हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ सीपीईटी 2021 प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन आंसर वीडियो द फर्स्ट पार्ट इज गिवन इन आई टैब सो इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस अबाउट क्वेश्चन 1 टू क्वेश्चन नंबर 5 इन दिस वीडियो आई एक्सप्लेन क्वेश्चन 7 टू क्वेश्चन नंबर 10 नाउ लेट अस स्टार्ट now question 7 here the questions asks about which of the following is not true and here four options are given and option 1 is every sequence of real number has a monotone subsequence which one is the correct statement this one is correct statement and every bounded sequence of real number has a convergent subsequence this one is also a true statement but here observe that Every bounded sequence is convergent, which one is the wrong statement? Which one is wrong statement? And every convergent sequence is Cauchy. This one is also a true statement. Now let us check why this one is incorrect. So let us take an example. Here every bounded sequence is convergent. Let, let us take an sequence. Uh, let the sequence be a n. Let the sequence be a n and this sequence consist of minus 1 to the power n this type of sequence here observe that the sequence a n is bounded sequence as this one is bounded by minus 1 and 1 this one is the bound bound of this sequence this one is the bound of the sequence now uh, here every bounded sequence is convergent but um, if we take the limit of this sequence that is the if i take the limit n tends to infinity that a n is equal to how much this one is limit n tends to infinity minus 1 to the power n this is equal to which not defined which one is not defined so here uh, the statement says that every bounded sequence is convergent but here this one is not convergent or not defined so uh, we, i can find a um, sequence a n of the type minus 1 to the power n which one is bounded and bounded by minus 1 to 1 and uh, for convergency we cannot find the limit so this statement is wrong one this so option c is correct one because the question asks for which of the following is not true so c option is correct one now come to another question now question 8 here we have to evaluate the limit that is limit n tends to infinity um, 1 plus uh, 2 to the power 1 by 2 plus 3 to the power 1 by 3 plus dot 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 up to n to the power 1 by n whole divided by n equals to how much here um, we apply Cauchy first theorem on limit and Cauchy first theorem on limit says that if the sequence um, is of the type a n let a n be a sequence let a n be a sequence and this uh, limit limit n tends to infinity a n is equal to l then limit n tends to infinity a1 plus a2 plus dot 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 up to a n whole divided by n this also goes to the same limit l this uh, the statement this one is Cauchy's first theorem on limit this one is Cauchy's first theorem on limit Cauchy's first theorem on limit so here observe that uh, if I take the um, sequence a n as n to the power 1 by n then um, if a n is equal to n to the power 1 by n then uh, limit n tends to infinity a n is equal to limit n tends to infinity n to the power 1 by n and we know that limit n tends to infinity n to the power 1 by n this is equal to 1 and here observe that if i put n is equal to 1 then uh, 1 to the power 1 by 1 that is 1 this one is 1 
this one is first term this first term is one then two to the power one by two then plus three to the power one by three dot 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 n to the power one by n whole divided by n so by applying Cauchy's first term on limit we can say that the limit of this is equal to this is equal to this one is limit n tends to infinity 1 plus 2 to the power 1 by 2 plus 3 to the power 1 by 3 plus dot 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 up to n to the power 1 by n whole divided by n this quantity is equal to 1 so option a is correct one here option a is correct one clear now come to another question that is question number 9 here assume that there is an integer n naught such that n is greater than is equal to n naught here given um, n is greater than is equal to n naught here is, this one is given and the inequality a n less than is equal to b n this one is holds um, given that this a n is always less than is equal to b n this holds then we have to find which of the following is true and first option is limit infimum of a n less than is equal to limit infimum of b n this one is the code statement that is limit infimum is um, limited if a n less than is equal to b n then we can say that this one is limit infimum of n tends to infinity this a n always less than is equal to limit infimum of n tends to infinity this one is b n we can say that this this inequality holds so here option a is correct one now come to this this option limit infimum of a n greater than is equal to limit infimum of b n which one is the wrong statement this one is wrong similarly limit supremum of a n greater than is equal to limit supremum of b n this one is also a wrong statement and limit supremum of b n less than is equal to limit infimum of a n this one is also a wrong statement so option a is correct one clear this one is the known result of um, limit infimum clear now come to another question that is question number 10 here we have to find the limit n tends to infinity n square by 2 to the power n equal to how much here observe that we have to find limit n tends to infinity n square by 2 to the power n here observe that if i take this infinity here and here this is of the form this is of the form infinity by infinity form so we can apply l hospital rule by l'hopital rule l hospital rule l hospital l hospital rule so by applying l hospital rule we get this is limit n tends to infinity n square derivative of n square is how much this one is 2n whole divided by 2 to the power n this one is 2 to the power n ln 2 this one is derivative of 2 to the power n this much and here observe that if i put infinity here this one is also of the form this one is infinity by infinity form clear now again applying l hospital rule we get this one is limit n tends to infinity this to 2n 2n is uh, this one is 2 by this ln 2 is ln 2 and 2 to the power n is this one is 2 to the power n ln 2 or this can be written as limit n tends to infinity 2 by ln 2 whole square into this one is 2 to the power n clear this much and by applying um, n tends to infinity this goes to 1 by infinity this one is goes to completely 0 clear so option a is correct one clear so if you like my videos then subscribe my channel and uh, in next video i try to um, solve another question so stay tuned thank you